after the Cougars would win games, I didn't notice this till I think either Mike Joseph or someone pointed out to me, I forget why, that um, they would play the Al Stewart song, Year of the Cat. And really looking back at 2018, it was the Year of the Cat. There was a lot of excitement around this Cougar boys basketball team, a lot of fanfare. Dave, and as you said in a previous segment we just recorded, um, well-deserved. It was a once-in-a-generation, maybe once-in-a-lifetime team that comes along. Yeah, I mean, you look at, you have one 1,000-point scorer in Jeff Panutis and uh, Josh Samick and Joey Grula very easily could have been 1,000-point scorers if the uh, Cougars weren't handily ahead in a lot of those games. Uh, you know, they were way up in the 900s. Uh, Demir Faison, the junior on that team, uh, looks like he's going to uh, pass the 1,000-point mark. So you're talking about four 1,000-point scorers on the same basketball team. And Dave, a team that has a lot of success year in, year out basis. You mentioned the Hazelner High School softball team. Didn't get as far as recent years past this year, but still, when you win another district championship in that, it's, it's not a bad season. Uh, no, uh, you know, they, they've, it's just, they should just add that to the end of their schedule, district championship, because they, uh, they, they've been playing for the district championship now for, for it seems like forever. Uh, it doesn't matter. They've changed coaches a few times, but the uh, Lady Cougar program just keeps rolling. Uh, they got to the state quarterfinals this year. The North Schuylkill softball team, I watched an incredible game with them against Tamaqua, another really good Schuylkill League team, but they made a nice little run into the state playoffs as well. Danny Burlitz and Reggie Crawford kept me busy, Dave. I had to play catch up with them after the state swimming championships. Danny Burlitz from Marion, Reggie Crawford from North Schuylkill. I did a little Schuylkill County state championship road trip. It's not often you have two people come home from a state championship in our area with, with gold medals. Um, Tina Caparol, Dave, ended her career after winning you know, a state cross country championship and then she went out to the track and field championships and got a medal there as well. What a way to end it for her on the way out. And then her sister Nicole this past fall, she wins a state medal in cross country as well as the Caparel era at Marion's coming to a close. Although this spring, um, Nicole will run track and field. And Dave, over at MMI, it was a big year. I mean, you had, um, let's start with the um, baseball and basketball teams winning the district championship. I'm going back, you know, Joe Flanagan and MMI. It's been a while. Got to that district championship game a few times, but it finally happened this past season. Yeah, and, uh, you know, it was, might have surprised some people. Yeah. Uh, you know, the, you know, the, they started out the season very, very well, but then uh, had a key injury to Phil Byreal, who was their, you know, top uh, sophomore center. Uh, he got hurt, missed most of the season when they, they played the tougher part of their schedule. And, uh, you know, Joe kind of expected that you know like you're going to get your bumps along the way because you're playing against teams that are much bigger than you and there's some teams that are very talented along the way uh, but they were able to regroup once they got the schools their own size they didn't quite qualify for the sub-regional tournament but once they got in a district tournament uh, they were able to uh, beat up on Susquehanna the team that ended up winning the sub-regional tournament got to the state tournament and won a couple games so that shows you how good MMI basketball was when all the pieces were uh, in place and uh, they were playing well. Jessica McClellan um, winning a regional golf championship went out to states so didn't get her state medal Dave but what a year just winning a regional championship a district championship the career she's had and she's probably going to have in college and that is is very impressive. Yeah there aren't many individual golfers that have had a successful career as she has. And just a few more things Dave let's talk about Lily Nowak getting another district gold in um, doubles playing with Alyssa Missouri this time and she had an outstanding career talk about putting a program on the map as Hazelton area tennis really came up as Lily Nowak walk and, and some others came up. Another fun athlete to cover and yeah, even better. You know, she's a great great person to talk to as well. She win or lose, she always had a smile on her face and wasn't always the happiest, but <laughs> after a loss, but uh, uh, once you talk to her, you found out what a great person she is. And that's uh, just a reflection of, uh, you know, herself, her, her teammates and her family. You had a front row seat as we close things up for really a great battle for the Schuylkill League Football World Championship in Division One. Tamaqua, North Schuylkill, Jim Thorpe there. They ultimately, there was co-champions, Dave, between the three. I think you covered one or two of the games, but what an exciting fall that was. Yeah, there's no doubt. Uh, you know, I, I was at the North Schuylkill Tamaqua game this year and uh, I you know I, I don't think there were many events that I covered this year that had as an electric atmosphere uh, as you, you just felt something driving into Tamaqua that night. And of course we'd be remiss I'm um, Sparky Wolk and a few of the Cougar seniors for the Hazelton area football team Dave leading them to back-to-back -back, um, district championship games you can read an article about that in the standard speaker recently. Dave maybe the biggest sports story of the year the Hazelton Little League the Challenger Division team going out to the Little League World Series to play in a Challenger Division game they were putting a lot of effort into this baseball game every single one of those kids and before the game Little League president pointed out he said look this just illustrates that everybody deserves a chance to play baseball everybody deserves a, a moment like this again you you go up there on a Saturday morning and you see those kids uh, playing every day and 
or every week, and uh, that's that's the highlight of the week for a lot of those 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 uh, young athletes. Let's call them athletes because yeah. they are athletes too. They're just like anybody else, and they're they're, they're loved uh, children, young adults that just really love to play the game of baseball, and uh, and you, what you see their infectious smiles, and uh, it, you know it brings a tear to your eye because there's a uh, it, sometimes you take things for granted. You're you're in a rush of uh, you know especially during the season, and uh, to to watch these kids do what they do because they love it um, it makes all your all your other issues go away it was, it was a great year for local athletes and uh, local teams and uh, again just blessed and happy to be part of it and they deserve all the recognition getting recognition one more time here on SSP TV and in the standard speaker